a what is that squad Turk here and please 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 stop doing this to your junglers I will press the play button on my video in a bit but seriously you guys need to stop doing that jungler out there you will thank me for making this video and if you're not a jungler and you're new to the game I completely understand why you're doing this if you never played MOBAs, or if you never played Pokemon Unite, you're new to the game, or you just want to have fun and like do the good thing, here's how you're going to actually do it, and by doing so, you will just win more games. So let me press play here, and pay close attention to the Jigglypuff that is going to follow me around in my jungle. So you leech a couple damage there, never finish that little monkey dude, and when you fight the Jigglypuff, Never, never follow your jungler in the jungle. See, Jigglypuff right here is actually stealing my um, <clears throat> my blue buff. He stole my blue buff. Now, I can't even get that buff for me. I will be way behind. And meanwhile, if you look on top of the map, Ralts is alone. He's alone out there while a supporter <laughs> is stealing my whole jungle. I don't have any buffs. And that just ruined the game. I could fast forward that video and just show you how badly we lost that game. Uh, but I gave up and actually cut the recording <laughs> before the game ended. Now I'm level 4, I need to go there and just, I became a laner. I was ready to be a jungler and I just became a laner. So let me press this. Let me show you guys why this is so important. So let me just load up this practice round and I will show you a jungler path the path that I have to make in order to get my level 5 as fast as possible to be able to gank you guys and just help you snowball. If you're not familiar, snowballing means gathering enough advantage in the game to just, like a snowball, you roll up and you get stronger and bigger as the time goes up. So what I like to do here, I take, I just leech this one a bit just to get enough XP. You don't even have to kill it. Just get like a quarter of, of the XP you need then you kill Lillipop. And after Lillipop, you should get level 3. So now I have Lick. Get 2 attacks. See, I just killed one, only one Pokemon I had to kill to get level 3. Because the Pokemon in the jungle actually gives more XP. And the, the blue buff actually makes it. So whenever I defeat, I hit a wild Pokemon that has low health, I will deal more damage. I then use X attack to kill this Boofalan faster. And I'm almost level 5 already. If I go here and I get this Corpfish. Corpfish? Yeah, it's Corpfish. Almost level 5. And usually, if I were to stand next to someone who would defeat the, the monkey at the beginning, I always forget the name, sorry. I would actually be level 5 at that point. So now I have Sludge Bomb, I am evolved, and if I were to go in this lane, for example, and there was a fight, I could just Sludge Bomb and like deal damage, and that way I could be able to gank. I will be level 5 and come in a lane that is level 3 to just help you pressure and give a good gank. Usually I would go either top or bottom, depending on the situation where all the lane is pushing and everything. But yeah, please just leave your jungler be. If you're not familiar with the role and you're new to the game, I completely understand this. But leave your jungler be. He's going to be able to help you so much later on in the game, especially in ranked, where I feel like people will tend to take their role more seriously. Just play together, guys. Know your role, know what you're doing, and do it properly. I hope this video will help all the jungler out there and all the laners to actually get together and get stronger and win more games. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comment on that, please leave a comment down below. And I will catch you guys later. Take care, squad.